<laughs> you lost your bet, Marcus. Well, that's not bad, is it, Porky? That's not bad, eh? Not a bad old shot to say we're angled on pink. And there you go. Angled on the pink and a double bubble on the black. So, same again, Foggy. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're messing about now, aren't we? Messing about. Get in. Oh, God, am I potting well tonight? I am potting well tonight. Doggy, I owe you 50 quid, I've had one beer. Bulmers. And at four quid they can keep it. Great. How you doing, Cash? How you doing, mate? Good to see you again, Paul. You're all right, mate. Nice to see you. You too. Uh, let's get this, folks. You're looking well. Thank you. Thank you. Or, uh, uh, not seeing you for a bit. How's your camp been going? Oh, it's been going good. Uh, yeah, it's you, look, good. you look like you've trimmed out yeah, a bit. I've lost some weight looking in. Has it been flogging you? <laughs> yes, it's not been easy, but uh, yeah, enjoying it. Mm. Been good. Doing your runs and that, aren't you? Yeah, doing in, sparrings, everything's been getting some good sparring in. Yeah, you've sparred Martin McCauley, haven't you? Yeah, recently, yeah. He came over with him and uh, Billy Benson for two weeks. Yeah. It's been good, I enjoyed it. Two Billy's weeks. a laugh, isn't he? Yeah, he's a character. Yeah, he's a good guy. I had a good time with him. Hopefully, we might be going back over to Scotland or something. Well, you know, people like that come out, Billy, Billy Nelson, things like that. What you do, you, you pick the brains, don't you? When he used to come to Peter Furious, you might could see that Peter used to pick his brains. Yeah. And other people though, because he's he's been there and done it, hasn't he? And if you can take a little bit from everybody, it's exactly. like it's like what Richard's doing it. He'll have picked everybody's brain. Go on, exactly. Look who he's been around. It's so when you go around the top people, mm. you can pick, yeah. one, pick a bit from me, a bit yeah. from there, that kind of thing. So yeah. it's like a jigsaw, isn't it? yeah, yeah. Kind of make your own mm. jigsaw. <laughs> so right, let, let's back up a little bit and let's start with how was your day? How does your day start, Cash, in the morning? Yeah, generally it varied with training in the mornings. Yeah. Um, it varied, I've trained twice a day. Yeah. So it'll vary. Some days we'll get doing the mornings, boxing, footwork, bags. Yeah. And then some days from like, as when I first started, I would do a lot of boxing in the morning, then mm -hmm. we'll do running, track run, runs, different stuff, just to mix it up. Yeah. And then when you start sparring, you start very different, it's like different times. Yeah. And today I've done a session in the morning, mm -hmm. going through. Uh, Shadow boxing, just mistakes, and then in the evening I'm sparring tonight. Yeah. And you're looking forward to that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Excited. And uh, how did your sparring go a couple of weeks ago with you, Martin McCauley? Oh, brilliant. He's, he's good. He's, he's uh, even before I sparred him, everybody 
I spoke to us about him. You know, yeah. And he spoke. He spoke to Joshua quite often. Fraser mm-hmm. Clark, and they, they, you know, they also they all I've heard uh, they all really rate him. Right. And that when I was my first spa after after a long time out, and then I started training, got myself fit, and then uh, I was, yeah, he was sparring for two weeks. I had a good couple. He just won as well. He boxed Kevin mm-hmm. Johnson. Were you a bit sharper than you went sparring, Cash? He was good. He, yeah, he was on it. You could see him He had a fight. So he was yeah, sharp. Yeah, he, was yeah. he was he ready to fight. And I was just coming, kind of just my yeah. first kind of spot. But as days went on, I got more sharp. And then they, yeah. they said they seen the difference. So. Do you think that uh, with sparring Martin, do you think that you can get to that level or, or get around about that? No, no, obviously he's a European, British got European level, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, definitely he's, he's, he's good. And uh, the kids you spar with at top level, it gives you an idea where you are. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, in your head, the more better you do, then you leave that going. It gives you more confidence. Yeah. If you're jabbing them or you're moving, then you're doing six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds, you think, well, okay. If I could do it at this level, anyone below it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? mm. So it went all right then, yeah? Yeah, good, yeah. I think we both so, enjoyed it. So say say today, for example, you are gonna be sparring this evening, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But this morning, what did you do this morning? Just you run and that, yeah? Yeah, normally if it is just mixed up today we just went through uh which was taking it through some yeah shadow boxing and just, just sometimes it's basic but it's just the little things what Make the difference. Mm. It's going on the little things, just getting it, perfecting it. Yeah, it's like being in a relationship with a woman, isn't it? Every now and then you throw money at the problem, but they just want you to get them little things right, like taking off a cuppa in the morning, yeah. don't they? And opening See, the car door, things like that. It's the small thing that count. There you go, and it's like that with boxing. Isn't it's, it? Yeah, hundred percent. Mm. It's like I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. I feel um, the people I've sparred with in the past have improved. Richard can see improvements. So. I think everything's really good. good. You've got to look at it like Rich is a sculpture and you're his block of marble and he's trying to sculpture it, isn't he? Yeah. And he's working on you mentally as well, isn't he? Because there's a lot that's, of. Yeah, that's the main. Mental is what it is one of the main things, isn't it? Main thing, isn't it? I don't, I don't like to harp on about this, but uh, the person whose brains I've picked, picked up most are people like Carl Froch, Mick Whale. People like that, like, uh, Chris Smedley, and they all say it's mental. Dennis says it as well. Dennis worked on Jamie McDonald, yeah. you know, mentally. He also sent him out to Miami with Steffi Ball to pick things up in other gyms and that. Yeah. Are you and Richard going to be looking to go to other gyms and yeah, spa? Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, last week I was in, uh, was a week, two weeks ago, I went down to uh, Richard Sort, yeah, with Adam Booth in London, yeah. sparring with George Joyce. Yeah, but that was good for you, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. He's got punch. Yeah, he's a big, strong, come forward. He's like a trainer. Yeah, yeah. He reminds me of like a George Foreman type. Yeah, he's got the, yeah, he's got that George. Uh, yes. But he's bought the mummy. The mummy, yeah. No, but he's, he's more of a. He's better than what he looks. Yeah, he's, yeah. He, he, you know what I mean? He's not like a Jamie McDonald. Yeah, yeah. He's got that strength. 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 Yeah, a bit of a better mover than what he looks on TV, kind of. Yeah, yeah. But a good spot with him, a few of us down there. Uh, some of the kids down there. Been good, at, so there for a week. So is, is it getting that? Yeah, you're invited with some kind of just. I did some training with Adam as well, with all the Josh Kelly and. You might pick Adam Bowles' brain, didn't you? And Richard, no, did you? Yeah. No, definitely. It's just. It's so they're like that, aren't they? Yeah, they're like close anyway, so I'm just, I'm just like a sponge, I'm gonna. Well, you've got, what you've got to be, haven't you? You've got yeah. to pick. I mean, I'm, for example, this where I do it started off as. Dennis says, have you got any ideas to get Liam Cameron some tickets out? And I said, yeah, I'll get a camera. I spoke to Chris Medley and he said, yeah, go for it. Do we'll it. do you an interview. Chris fetched him around to the gym. Chris Medley and Liam were the first one I ever did. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and on the same day, Hakeem, Hassi, Hakeem Nasser, in that same office, when I had that office, but Dennis is yeah. doing Hakeem Nasser, Dennis, me and Chris Medley and Liam in that office that day. And now it's channels gathering a bit of momentum, not that much, but yeah. it's, it's doing it, it's still an hobby, but we're, we're getting there. And you're one of Dennis's fighters, so what we're doing, we're getting you a bit of PR, aren't we? Getting you out there. Oh, definitely, like, so after my last fight, I think, well, it, it got it hit the news, didn't it? <laughs> there was a fight yeah. before with Price, mm. but now it's about getting out there for the real me. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's it, that's all it is. Do you think leading up to that daily prize fight that uh, you have the spotlight on you more than you've ever had it before? Because I watched some of your interviews leading up to it and you had a, you had a bit of a crew around you at the time, didn't you? They all seem to have gone now, aren't they? <laughs> Since you've got banned. Where are they, where are they all? Every time I see you, you walking about with your boys. <laughs> there's a few yeah. yeah. I'm getting a bigger on Chilard than Rod Stewart. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only difference is the guys I'm with, they're not taller as me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, to be honest, just, uh, I don't know. I still, to be honest, after the fight, I still, I know who my close people are. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's just, it's boxing, isn't it? People yeah. Go, but uh, I learned so, I learned a lot from it. And for me, it's now, I think it's, it comes it come so fast. Mm. After this happened, not going to go too much into it, but this happened, that happened. Before you know it, boom, it's, it's, it's happened. Before you know it, three, four weeks to get all sparring partners in, and boom, boom, boom. So just everything happened fast. And did nobody to give you any media training on what to say or anything like that? Um, not, no, not really. Because you were putting on the spot I found, people were asking you, and, and I thought you could, you can get led on in some of the questions. It turned out you started, you tried to be a gentleman, it, and it turned out we said I'm gonna knock out his party, didn't it? And it got yeah, yeah, a bit bad, didn't it? Yeah, it, you know what? It was. And then he flipped his lid as well, yeah, didn't he? I think to be honest, no <laughs> big truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like because he was in Liverpool, some things he was saying they weren't even funny, but everyone was laughing because yeah, because they're like yeah. couches, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, but what the thing is, he's normally quite price. I've spotted him in past. Yeah, I've, I've known him quite a bit, and I, I, I was texting him and speak to him about uh, for that time. I said that I probably have said a few things. He's, he got heated up, but just he just went back and forth. I'm, he just wanted to put it on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, yeah. I just, I just wanted to fight. Just, it's a fight, mm -hmm. even though he didn't go to physical. Yeah, yeah. I'll just check what we want. Yeah, I see what I see what you mean. At the end of the day, it's a fight, isn't it? You're not there to be mates, are you? You've sparred him before, and yeah, that, that's it. And you felt his power and you were alright with that, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. You were alright with his power, so that's why you took the fight, because you thought, well, I've, I've had some fist off him and it didn't really bother you, did it? He, he, he is heavy handed. Yeah, but he do not seem to. He didn't I think. mean, people keep going on about if David Price hits him, he's going to go if he hits him, but who has he ever hit? And they've gone. Yeah. Oh! I don't know. Or the Harrison. I'm not, yeah. Matt Skelton early on, but started with the five, which is all Matt Skelton was 48, wasn't he, at the time? Yeah, exactly. That's it. And it's like, uh, and then he had a fight with the fight with Chisora. Uh, okay, I know. Did you watch that? Yeah, I did. Chisora just come for it. That's Chisora. I, I didn't expect nothing less from Chisora. Boom, coming for boom, 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 let these shots go. But Chisora knew the price was really going to be fair. He wasn't coming. To be honest, I thought the fight with me and the fight with Dave Adam, he looked yeah. pretty sharp. Yeah, yeah. Who did? Uh, Price. I thought, yeah. When you've bought for this fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on, yeah. For this fight, look a bit. I mean, I know you had, you had three, four weeks' notice, but. Yeah. I guess the money right for him took it as a business risk, but. Uh, yeah, it looked quite, I thought it looked quite sluggish and just. Uh, David Price, in my opinion, he turned up and he got paid. He got paid, mate. That's what I felt. I, I just thought he turned. He, he's saying. He turned up and he wasn't really in shape and he wasn't 100% and yeah. all that. Well, why is he even in there then risking his life? Exactly. So, because the money were, were unbelievable for him, you know, half a million quid. It's a lot of money, fair enough. But I think. I expected more from Price. Yeah, I did, yeah. I, I did, did, yeah. He didn't let his hands go, did he? Yeah, it? I thought with the fight with Dave Allen before that, I thought he looked pretty sharp. Even with my fight, he looked a bit. He, he, he was heavier than one. This Chisora fight looked heavier than this. He didn't let his hands go nothing. I thought, if you've got every fight, I should have been give four rounds. Yeah. And I thought, I think I just expected a bit more from him. Just, I thought, let's let his hands go. If he gets chipped, and he got knocked out anyway, I thought, he's got to stop. Do you know how he knocked him out? It was the same shot that Povetkin hit him with. When he went down like that, and it was an overhand, and then he. Yeah. Maybe so, on it and up and put after that. Him, yeah. He was, yeah. Even when I thought he was the fifth round, you could see he was, he started to show signs of. But he sh he sh when you were fighting him, right, I felt that you'd done the hard work yeah. and, you obviously, and I don't know why, for some reason, you, you, your head went, didn't it? Yeah, I, I watched the fight that day, he, he called me with a good shot, he got into a clinch, 
he hit me back in a few bars. That time everything was just all, yeah. everything was just mad as well. And as soon as I took him down, he was like, boom. See, he punched you back ahead, and I think yeah. it was a bit of frustration from this. Yeah. Boom, boom, and then. And of course, him in dressing room, he was staggering about and collapsing. That's because you, you got him into a position where you had him on a plate. Yeah. But that won't haunt you because what Dennis is going to do is going to put you in fights and you'll soon forget about that. As soon as you get a win, November 29th, yeah. as soon as you've got a win, you'll forget about that because you don't want to go through life being the guy who could have beat David Price, do you? Yeah. Like I said, if the chance come again. Yeah, oh David, yeah, yeah. David Price might. I can say he lost that far, I don't know if he's retired or not, but uh, to be honest, I think a rematch with me and him will be big. Yeah. Big enough for him to think, hang on. Well, that'll be a good payday for you and Dennis and all them. I don't know whether they go for it or what, I don't know, but my own personal opinion is I think anybody who puts David Price on the show again needs to take a good look at themselves. He's been knocked out seven times, right? When you've been knocked out seven times, there's certain people that you can't go in with because every time you step up to that level, mm. that Euro level, because these are only guys that are beating Euro level guys. Yeah. You could say Povetkin is the Euro world. level stroke world, world, yeah. But he's not our world title, and his world title was what, it, 10 years ago? Exactly, just when he lost this call, yeah. Yeah, so he lost to Kritschko, but. So he's that kind of level in a European world, kind of, just under. under 40 year old Povetkin. Yeah, I think he's fighting as. Who's he really fighting against? I forgot, is it Hunter? Oh yeah, that's it. I think it's Hunter, isn't it? Yeah, it is Hunter in Saudi. I think that one's not Hunter. But uh, did Richard tell you that Peter asked me about uh, Yui, if, you, if you're interested in sparring Yui? Yeah, uh, yeah you mentioned some a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, but I think he was in London as well, so. And yeah, I guess, yeah, that'd be a good sparring for you, Yui. Yeah, Yui's good at what he does. Is it Salford now? They're not a bolt on that Salford, was, so. Yeah, I sparred him years ago, but I bolted him yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Alimal Road, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, uh, yeah Gallagher yeah. got that now. Who's got that, sorry? Joe Gallagher's What's got it, that. What's it, is that on the tree? Tesco, Joe, how are you doing, Joe? Keep following the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wherever you are, pal, keep following the channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> big Joe, big Joe. <laughs> but no, uh, you and Yui, I think it'd be good sparring because Yui, uh, the 20 round fighters aren't they? The, the he, dad, his dad flogs him to death in gym. They go yeah. all day fighting on it, Fury. Yeah, but they're loose, aren't they? Fury's got a style where he's more effective, he's more effective than he looks. He's very awkward, got a good jab on him. I think, to be honest, is that even the Povetkin fight, the Parker fight, I thought it was a close fight. I, think I, thought, I thought personally it could have gone either way. Yeah. The Povetkin fight, it, it, it just didn't. He got all man, didn't he? If he was a little bit more aggressive mm. and let his right hand go, yeah. it could have been a different story. Yeah. With Perkin. So he was he was he was doing the hard part, he was jumping in. Even when Perkin was going who were blocking, mm. I felt like he needed to let a little bit more. Perkin, in my opinion, is a wily old fox. And I think when you look at Yui's defeats, uh Parker fight, I thought Yui won that one. But he didn't get a decision, fair enough. The pool left one, he got cut by the yeah, didn't he, in camp. And plus that was... Then it opened up in round two, didn't it? Plus that was in Bulgaria. Bulgaria. So yeah. he's never going to get that point, so... Yeah. yeah, yeah, but he lost... He, did he lost, yeah, 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 he lost one. So you could put that down to cut. P P Parker one, he got... I thought he won that one. Yeah, it was. What about the other one? Povetkin. Yeah, I thought he just had that... Little bit more to his game than Yui. I thought Yui, Yui kind of ran out of ideas. It's probably... It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. Age he's, experience. He's good at what he does, he's brilliant. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. He keeps he him. You don't get it, does he? That's what I'm saying. Did you, did you clip him a few times? It was quite a while ago, actually. Yeah, yeah. but he had to get to, though, yeah. Yeah, he's got a step. Even me, I can box like that kind of yeah. good job and keep it away. But just with Perkin, I thought he probably needed to just a little bit adapt a little bit more. Because Perkin would be an aggressive one to yeah. come forward. But Perkin yeah. wasn't under either. Yeah. But I, I thought if they changed a few little things, he could, he could have been. Yeah, I've heard a little whisper that uh, Dave Allen and Huey could be off for uh, next year, sometime. Yeah, they were saying about that. I heard about the Dubois one. Yeah, yeah, Dubois one. The, yeah, the, the, Dave Allen's not going to fight him, I don't think, unless they pay him money. 
it's probably next year. You're saying December, well, yeah, 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 yeah. December's not enough time for him to prepare for no, that. Exactly, to be yeah. fair to David, is it? You're just keeping in the loop, I think. I don't think they're picking in December, probably next year. There's loads of fights, isn't there? There's, there's loads in every way it makes. Like I said, you're in the mix now. Oh, no, definitely. So does but, I mean, Dennis has got a TV deal. He's in Vegas at the moment, Dennis. Yeah. He's not back on Thursday. So there's, there's all sorts of things happening, obviously we're not going to mention it on here, but uh, it's all exciting times and, and for, I, I don't, I, obviously I didn't know you when I first met Den. A few years ago, ask anybody, I thought Dennis had had enough, ask Chris Medley, ask Michelle, they were, they, they were, I don't really think he knew we were doing with boxing, he's had that much on he, with his parents dying and that, but now it's like, all yeah. systems go, it's all coming back to him. And if you see, you're the same as I say, you hang around in a barber shop, you get your hair cut. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's the one, Yeah, it? eventually, yeah. It's, it's the same way. Penny's anyway. dropped. Yeah. I mean, look at all this now that the Richard's got Richard, going in. Yeah, like I said, no. Fuke is flying up there, isn't it? Beadless yeah, with he's Titans. Got, he's, got a few, he's got a few kids, he's got a uh, Sufi. No, Sufi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's my mate, I know him. Yeah, he's, he's on show. He's on show, yeah. Obviously, Kelly did a bit with Fuchs, didn't he? But yeah. that was a one fact. But, it, but then it's experience for John Fuchs. You've got a feel for John now, haven't you? Now with Kel Brook doing that. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but Kel was just punished. I don't know if he made it clear or not. But it's always good to make things clear. If it's true, yeah. I'm with you for one yeah, fight. Yeah. But then, I don't know if he said that, but I thought Kel was always going to go back at England. To England, yeah. I just think sometimes it's not the training. It is the training, sorry, but a certain trainer has a certain way. I don't think Don works with Kel quite good. Yeah, well, he's always in shape, isn't he? Yeah. He's into all that uh, healthy eating, Dominic, isn't he? Walking around with a uh, stick of salary in his yeah. mouth all the no, time. Don't, he? Don't. Yeah, you know what? In tight t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Dom looks, I, I speak to Dom, he, he looks well, looks well for his age, isn't he? Looks so, well for 51, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks after himself. He likes looking in the mirror a lot, though, Dominic, doesn't he? Every time he walks by your mirror, he's getting it. He's all that, mate. That's his, that's his bodybuilder, isn't it? Bodybuilders. Yeah, he's a bodybuilder. <laughs> he's not a bad singer. <laughs> is he a good singer? I'm quite sure he's a good singer. He's a top. Yeah, he's like frogs, he's yeah. into guitars, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, right, I give Dominic King or some stick, but his fighters are always in shape, aren't they? No, Dom's always good, in shape. Dom's got a good, uh, even when I used to train, I went there as a kid, so I, was, I spent a lot of time with Brendan, Dom, John, so it's like, even as a kid, uh, Dom fetched up with it, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, Brendan showed him and that he said, Dom's got his own system and it, and it works. He, he's still after, it's not like after Brendan, he's not being champion. He has, but he's still got to be fought for Warrington, which I thought he could have won. What do you think? He's not going to get a decision in Leeds, Warrington. Yeah, that's what he would, yeah, yeah. I think that was another thing, you had to be a little bit more, just a little bit more aggressive kind of thing. I felt that Warrington, if he'd have lost that, it would have been harsh because Barry picked his pocket, didn't he? Yeah. He did what Dirrell did to Carl Froch. And, yeah. and Dirrell nearly pulled it off, didn't he? Yeah. Andre Dirrell. When the Fury Box Klitschko picked his pocket, didn't he? Well, just, just, but I think he clearly won that. No, one, no, no, no. That was, that was, that was, that was, I wouldn't watch that. He didn't come to fight, he come to mess them about, didn't they? But he, 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 uh, he even with the Wilder fight, that was, that was more like with the Deontay fight. Yeah. Tyson jabbed him, kept away. And yeah. Deontay just, I think Deontay really wanted to hurt him. Yeah. And sometimes. You can't be too over on a hurt zone because mm. you'll, you'll make mistakes and you, you know, you'll miss. Mm. So it's a bit more. I don't know, does it? Tyson will be in the press conference, but he got a bit frustrated. Yeah. It? What do you think to uh, you against Nick Nick Webb? Yeah, that's a fight. Um, that's, a, that's a fight. Would you be up for that? Yeah, I'd, yeah. I had to Dennis that day. I went, I well, put my name for a few years ago. Whoever, whoever you put in front will be ready. Uh, well, I'd like to see you fight Dave Allen, but I think I think Dave should f f uh, pack it in. But if you were to fight Dave Allen, uh, with money that he's demanding now to fight again, it, it's uh, it's I think not, not going to be feasible, is it, on free sports? <laughs> I think with Dave, it's like he's uh, he's a uh, he's boxed up. He has boxed up good level, hasn't he? Oh, but geez, never. Wild, uh, uh, I don't know why. Yeah. So he's doing that. He's a, he's a, he's a yeah, how many rounds did he win out and all them? Yonker. Yeah, true. All the things, the baby's is health, isn't it? Yeah, it is health, but the people keep saying to me, Dave Allen's been in with so-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so, but I don't, if anybody's out there, I'm not digging Dave Allen out. And this is what happens when you get to be friends with boxers. Sometimes you have to speak true. 
How many rounds has Dave Allen won against? Yoker, White, Ortiz, Price. How many rounds has Lucas Brown? You'd give him one round against Brown. Yeah. How many, and that's it. You wouldn't give him any rounds, would you? Did he win a round against Price or White? No, yeah. Ortiz flogged him non-stop and he got eight and a half, nine grand on it or something. Yeah. I don't want to see kids going in and getting knocked about like that because all they are is the journeymen but with a bit of a following on Twitter. Yeah. I don't agree with it and somebody's going to get killed. It's not, that's what it is. It's not, it's not good, is it? Especially with that. No, and if Dave can get a few quid out of that job, get a few quid out of that job. Yeah, he's got to know when to stop. Yeah, he's already slurring. But he won't admit that, will he? Yeah, I, I like Dave at all. He's your mate, isn't he? Yeah. You're always big Dave up, don't you? Yeah. But, uh, let me just turn this off. But moving forward, uh, November 29th, we haven't got an opponent for you lined up yet, but when Dennis comes back this week, he's going to sort it all out. You, Josh Whale, obviously, he's headlining, he's on a good run, isn't he? Josh, uh, Tommy Frank. Tommy, is he defending this Commonwealth, or? Uh, oh, Tommy Frank? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that might not be happening because Josh is headlining, isn't he, Josh Whale? It's all going to be on. What opponent Josh has now because we're yeah. trying to get Josh a title fight. Josh Whale, yeah. Josh Whale, yeah, he's going to be in a title fight. This next one. This next yeah, one, yeah. So he's going to headline. And he's biggest ticket seller out of everybody on the show. He does, he's done loads of tickets already yeah. for this one. And <clears throat> the plan is to get Josh a, a title fight and then hopefully it's going to be Barnsley next year. Yeah. Uh, a big, big show. Yeah, and hopefully in summer at Barnsley Football Club. There's no. Sh uh, but what, February, March, February 21st, isn't it, the next show? After that, it is. So you'll be out in November and then Feb. And if Dennis can get you on in Vegas or in America, in between, you know, it's just to, to get you out there to see what That's, you think about it. It's just fight, like I said, sometimes it's not, obviously, at top level, you fight good guys, but sometimes just a six, eight rounder, just it's like having a fight away in America, it's a different kind of. Environment. It's all for you to learn. It's all a learning. Well, that's what I think. Isn't it? Even Joshua boxed the. Uh, it's not Ruiz. Ruiz, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ruiz, Ruiz, yeah. Maybe for a fight before things might be a bit in different. America. Yeah. yeah. Just that we like. I tell you who did it. No, who did it? Now somebody did. Kel boxed the American once, and then before he boxed Paul, yeah, he boxed some kid. I think Fury boxed Cunningham then, didn't it? Which yeah. Was, which was a good fight. But yeah. Some cruise with it. That was a. That was life and death. It was. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was supposed to be, was it? No, it was life and death. And beat, Peter Fury went on, tried to get into America, they got yeah. caught in Canada. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> on train. I remember those things. They got arrested, didn't they? Oh. And they said, you've got a criminal record, you can't go into America. Well, that, so it's, it's, it's the environment, but I guess sometimes at the same time, it's how strong you are mentally. Rings a ring and fights mm. a fight. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's all experience, time zones. And no, definitely. And all that kind of thing, We're going into a different country, different heat, and food, uh, water, everything. Yeah, it does it's all different, isn't it? It does affect. Henry Porras fought Carl Froch in, in uh, Los Angeles, when yeah. Froch were out there uh, as a sparring partner for Howard Eastman well, back in the seen. day. And Carl said when he went out there, he just gave him a feel for good when he fought abroad, and obviously he put it into practice when he fought. Uh, I get out there again because I fought Ben Johnson, didn't he? Out yeah. there. So it's all experience for you, isn't it? And That's even like I said, when you fight here, like my first nine fights were in Sheffield. Then I started box I boxing your call. Mm. Then I boxed in Birmingham, the last one in Liverpool. Yeah. So everyone booed me. I got a different kind of. Most of my career has always been, well, most of my fights always been the favourite. For the price, coming in, walking in first, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I won't face my ball. It's just, it is experience. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It is experience. And you need some experience, don't you, Cash? Because you're only 27, aren't you? 27, I'm not like these guys who are 20, 50, 60, 100 amateur fights. How many did you have? I think two. Yeah. Two amateur fights? Is that all you so, have? That was when I bit younger, so I start. I'm, I'm still, people don't realise. Oh, I'm still, I'm still, Dave Allen had more amateur fights than you. He had 10. People have 20, 30 amateur fights, and they say he's a novice because they, they say, He's had 20 amateur fights, but he's not had many. Yeah. So I just feel like, I'm still learning on the job. Yeah. Right. So moving forward then, uh, obviously you fought David Price. Uh, you had him in a good position. It looked like you were gassing and you bit him. Was you looking for a way out of the fight or no. did your dad just go? No, I, I, they weren't, to be honest, like some there was nothing to do with it. So now your dad had died just then, hadn't he? Yeah. And just, you were playing on your mind. It wasn't was even when I walked in. Everything's a build up to the fight, even the press conference. My dad was there, things would have been 
you will sense him and I will listen. Yeah, more calmer, more quiet, more cooler. I wouldn't have been, like I said, and the people around me, they are my friends and whatnot. But cause when someone, everyone's the same age group, you all think alike. Some mm -hmm. need that older head, mature head to like, do this, this and that. Yeah. But yeah, it would nothing to do with getting the way out because if I wanted to way out, I would have been a foil in the first place. Yeah. I mean, I, didn't, I, I walked in, to be honest, I walked, as soon as I walked in, boom, 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 I'm laughing at that. In my head yeah. mind, I thought, I'm ready for this. You can see one game, I got even more confident. The yeah. price was a bit, mm. you know, just, well, okay, I beat it more than once, but it was just more of a, it happened so far, like I said, the same round I hurt him in, he got me with a good shot. It probably looked worse because the way I was positioned, because I went back, I missed the shot, and he hit me with one more game. And then we've come to a clinch, and he's hit me back ahead a few times, and it's just, it was all just, ooh, it was that kind of, it went from boxing to all of a sudden to a fight. Yeah. And just, as I took him down, just, he just went, but it's all the things I don't know this sometimes. Yeah, well, all the little things, they add up to big things. It's yeah. like saving all your pennies in a jar at home, eventually it builds into a big jar of pennies, yeah. doesn't it? Exactly. And I, I think it were a catalogue of events with you, and you were, un I think you were unfolding like an onion, and I don't want you to take this wrong way. I thought you might have been looking for a way out because he did click knock back at Ed a few times when he shouldn't, when referee didn't see that, didn't he? Yeah, but even ref, to be honest, referee took a point off for me. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a few things referee took a point off. When, when I know, you got disheartened after that, didn't you? It, no, no, it wasn't disheartened. They were just, they just wanted, they just wanted to hurt someone more. Yeah. You forget, if somebody, it was a fight, you just switched yeah. from boxing to a fight. Yeah. He went into this that kind of survival. Ah. You need to control it, but now I'm learning to control it and channel it in the right way. Yeah, it's no good coming up here and looking a million dollars to spy and inspire good kids. It's doing it on the night, isn't it? In front of spotlights. I mean, a lot of people don't know this, but they, a lot of people give Dave Allen some stick, but he's actually one of the best sparring partners in country at heavyweight, isn't he? On sparring, he's really good, isn't he? Yeah. He's tough. But I think with the fight, it's how you think you like, people talk about fighting, but on the lights, it's, it's, yeah, 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 it's yeah, more yeah. fights, the more you. Look at Deontay, Deontay's at 40, 50 fights now. Yeah, 42 fights. Yeah, come on, yeah. it's only his last 10 fights, his first 30 fights, the unheard of. Yeah, but he got into a routine of no, doing it. Going in there fighting, boom, walking and fighting, walking and fighting, walking. He it got, became the norm to it, because his, his memory, it was exactly. his memory muscle, so, wasn't it? Exactly, and then he could, after, roughly about after 30 fights, then he fought this guy, he fought that fight, and he fought, it's not stepping up in opposition. Mm -hmm. With Tyson Fury, he was a good background, okay, and with Price, he was a good amateur. So it's, it's experience, isn't it? You're going to be sparring him, aren't you, so we'll be on tonight, yeah? Yeah, Richard's the... I, I do know him. I've met him, I've met him a few times in the past. You met him when he come to Leeds? No, uh, I met him when he fought old Jarrison. Oh, in Sheffield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you training at Ingle Gym, then? He come over. He come yeah, over a few yeah. times, yeah. Because he came over and everybody were like, oh, who's that? And yeah. he's like, oh, he's an Olympic bronze medalist and nobody knew who he were, did they? But now, you see, he's, he's, he's mega he's famous, he's isn't he? He's the, he's the, He's a nice kid though, isn't he? No, he's a lovely guy, yeah. Uh, Richard's close with him and... Uh... If anybody wants to follow somebody on Twitter, Cash is... What's your Twitter handle, Cash? Uh, Twitter is Cash Ali Boxing, I think. No, it isn't. It's at 313 or something, isn't it? Or oh, is that my Instagram? No, no my, Instagram's, <laughs> my Instagram's Cash Ali 313. Yeah. And your Twitter's 313 Summit, innit? Can you have a look? I'll have a look, I'll have a look on here for you. Oh, God, I've turned my phone off, I'll turn my phone We'll come yeah. back to that. It's Cash, Cash Addy, I think I'll be Cash Addy. It's not hard to find on Twitter, Cash, but I'm just saying if you follow Dante Wilder, he's as at Bronze Bomber. He is a real genuine guy, isn't he? He's not, not, like he's not a fake or anything like that. In boxing, you get a lot of fake people, and a lot of people will come up to you and they'll say hello and then you'll walk by and they'll go dickhead. But this, Deontay Wilder's actually, he's a, he's a pretty cool guy actually, he's pretty genuine. Um, I reckon if he fought over here, he'd have as many fans as Joshua. Like, uh, yeah, it's funny boxing, isn't it? Yeah. Joshua was be all and that's it. Joshua, Joshua, everyone, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. No, he yeah. lost and it's like people, are, I've seen people cussing him, slaying him, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. The guy, he's achieved a lot. Yeah, he has achieved a lot. Yeah, of course he has. He, he's, he's achieved a lot in a short space of time. Yeah. He has, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, I mean, I look at you like this, right? I went to see Carl Froch uh, about 10 days ago at, at Nottingham. 
uh, he, he was telling me that he went to do a, an evening with George Groves and obviously they fell out and they oh, were getting on now. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to that. But he, him and George did an evening with Frotch and Groves at Manchester. And when they called the names out, everybody cheered Groves yeah. and they all booed Carl. Still. But yeah, when they walked into the ring for the first fight, it, Frotch got the cheers and he got the booze, yeah. but he left with the cheers. And yeah. Boxing fans, uh, I know this sound, may sound harsh, but the f they can be fickle, can't they? It's just like, it's just like losing it. I mean, look at this stick that you're getting at the moment. Oh. I mean, some of the things I... The comment section on this video, what we're doing now, uh, Nicola, if you see any of that stuff, just block it so I don't see it, because I'll end up joining YouTube and I'll end up raging at them. Point is, you bit him, right? It, uh, it were, a lot of things going on in your mind. Uh, do you regret it? No, in the sense of, of course, if, if I had a chance, I wouldn't do it again. That's number one. Yeah. And number two, it, 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 was, it was wrong. Yeah. I'm getting it straight away. See, if I was straight away, as soon as I, I, got, I got interviewed mm -hmm. by the first thing I said, straight away, I apologize, I was apologetic. I knew I was in the wrong. Yeah. I knew it was wrong. So, I do regret. If they say don't get things, I get in the sense of it was wrong, it was out of order. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't sport, it wasn't sportsmanship, you know. Yeah, it wasn't sportsman. But like I know, it. but at the same time, I know it was there, and it was like just everything was just like a madness. But it's done now, isn't it? And there's nothing we can do about it. So, what do you think about all these thing, these people who are on social media and the the same stuff to you regarding the bite and all that. Yeah, it should be banned for life and all this. Listen, did I they remember that she's all a bit some of that? Yeah. And it was a lot worse than yours, wasn't it? What did he get? That, uh, that's what, yeah, exactly. He didn't he get, get a small ban or something, got, or a warning. He got a little ban and he's fine with nowhere near 10% Nobody water. mentions that, do they? There's other things that she's well, always done well, outside well, of boxing there. Well, they're spitting on people, kissing people, slapping people, throwing yeah, tables at people. Throwing tables. That's where Tony Bell you. You put, yeah, go on. I seen the video Tony Bell you say, I'd be banned for life, but how can you, your best friend with Chisora, don't be, don't be a hypocrite. You, you don't say nothing to Chisora, but then I did that. It's like, Chisora was- Tony Bell, you're the disappearing man who was on that ITV programme overnight, that game show. The disappearing man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that, and it's like, yeah, Tony Bell you said some bad stuff about you, didn't he? Yeah, okay. I'll you wouldn't say it to your face, though, would he? I hope not. <laughs> well, when you bite him, it's got some of the truth. We just like, no, I understand. I've done wrong. People are gonna say wrong. And to be honest, the abuse I got, I still get it now. It's calmed down. To be honest, the abuse I got for the first few months, it was a bit sad actually because when I go back to it, there weren't too many people being. But I've done this. It was a lot of racial abuse and just. Abuse, abuse, but they're not really talking about what I've done. But then now it's just like, what, what did I have to go out? I mean, everyone makes a mistake, they made a mistake. I'll, I'll reassure it's not that place. That's, yeah. it. it's not, that's not me. Yeah. But there's nothing I can say to them. Just what you'll learn if they know me, you know me now. You know what kind of person I am. Yeah, yeah. From the time you met me and stuff. You're all right, you're a gentleman. And the people that know me, like I said, I said it before, I don't need to prove to anyone. You don't need to prove to anybody. But if the, if the people, if they open their eyes and they don't be limited, they'll see that yeah. it was a mistake and I'm a genuine person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made a mistake, you've apologised, you've took your ban, you've took your fine, you get fined. Yeah. How much? It was 10 bucks. 10 grand? Yeah. So what did you get for fighting the fin? Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> so you ended up in yeah, I got a bit, but I was a bit. Yeah. Uh, just, it was one of them things, just, I don't know. But like I said, our main thing is, my band's over. Your band's over, you've paid your fine. Uh, they're going to be dining out on your fine all them lot, aren't they? There, you know that, don't you? <laughs> you know what they're like, don't you? They're like vultures, aren't they? Uh, Charlie Giles at the bar, they'll make a lot of doubles, sir. <laughs> but make sure it's a slice of green lime and not yellow. <laughs> uh, don't put lemon in it, put limes in it. The band's over, the fine's paid. We ignore social media comments because you, you, you're, mo you're moving forward now. You sign with Dennis, Richard Towers is training you. You're going to be his first 
pupil, aren't you? He's starting again. He's starting as a trainer, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He obviously, boxed himself and he had a, yeah. he had a, he had a good career. You're going to be the first professional, though. Obviously, he's, he's, he's been doing it with Adam over years. Hasn't yeah, he? he's, only, I think he's, tri- he's helped out, but I think I'll be his first at the minute, anyway. He's yeah, yeah. First person he's gone, but that's to be in charge of the ring with. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you training that that that, that top kid from Sweden? But he, he's gone back on it now, him, hasn't he? Yeah. The red rain has, has gone back on it. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the Swedish yeah. kid. So you're, you're going to be Richard's first project then. We'll call it Operation Cash Alley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, you're getting on all right. You've become good mates. Oh, no, yeah, we, to be honest, we were good friends before. Yeah, one, beforehand, so. What were you saying, Jim at Ingalls back in the day? I've known Richard since I was a young boy. Since I was about 15, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our friendship, our leadership, that's what. That's what that's been there for a year now. Yeah. Years. So you and Richard, you, you've got a good setup here. You know, it's a real good setup what you've got here. Really nice good. Setup. Training hard. Everything's going all right. You're training hard. You're eating correctly. Yeah, we've sort of got everything on point. Dennis is going to get you a good fight for 29, just to come back fight and get you back winning into winning ways. Look, that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then once people see me on back and all the people that criticise yeah, you, they criticise they give me stick, but. Me buying someone doesn't change the fact. Give him another fight. chance. That's all you want, don't you? I know, and the thing is, I want to show people. To be honest, when I fought Price, I know yeah. David Price didn't beat me. I yeah. beat myself. And number two, that was me at my worst. That literally me at my worst. Mm-hmm. So watch me fight. I'm gonna. Sh- I'm gonna show people that how good I really am. Yeah. And, it, and I'll be gonna start on 29th of November. Yeah. And, I, and like I said, my mindset has not changed one bit. The day I turned professional was the day that I want to go over to the top. Yeah. I never once thought of, fuck you yeah. uh, I can't box up. I'm a winner century law. I'm a winner of English, British and stuff. That, that's not for me. Yeah. I, I am going to get them and I, I love them titles, but it's, it's the bigger picture, the bigger goal. Yeah. It's, it's going all the way to the top. Yeah, so you've got the southern area, uh, central area, sorry, haven't you? You've already got that. Are you defending that or giving it up? No, I've had, I've had that year now, that's all. So you're not going to be defending yeah, 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 that? Probably not. Yeah, yeah. Once you win someone out, you move, you move on. Well, that'll be a good belt for Dave Allen to win because he's not got a belt yet, has he, Dave? Yeah, Dave, yeah, Dave could, yeah. Dave could go for your central area against somebody and start again. Or he can have one more fight and retire. But he's not, Dave's not got a belt. You've got a belt, so... Yeah, so... Basically, I'm going to ask you some fighters what, what level you think they're at and I'm going to compare it to UCAP. Uh, I personally think that you've won the area, central area, and obviously we, what I've seen you doing, and I think that you're English, stroke British level. I think you're English level, and I think that you could want to win a British title. I think the Dubois fight for you is an hard fight at the moment. Do you think that? I, uh, for me, yeah. I, believe, I believe I'll beat anyone. Yeah. But yeah. it's everything with the right timing. With the yeah, yeah. everything with the right time, you know, with the right, uh, you know, with the right set out and stuff. So yeah. it's everything was that. Up. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so I'll be whoever's at one I'll I'll just keep fighting, keep winning, and whoever's got it, got them titles that time, I'll beat him. Yeah, yeah. So moving forward, then, who would you like to fight in another two years? Who would you? Who are the guys you'd like to be mixing it with, Cash? Well, in two years' time, I want to be at the top. And I'm not bothered who's there. Yeah. Whoever's got them titles at that time, yeah. then the kind of it's them people that I want to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever's there, whether it's John Bloggs or whether it's yeah. Fury Wilder, well, I'm, anyone who's giving them any to fight them. them in two years. You'd be doing good to get in there, wouldn't we? In two years. Yeah. Of course. That's, why not? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. It's like you know, with the with all the top fighters. In two years' time, anything can change. But whoever's at the top, yeah, that's my aim. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you think about fighting for British title if it becomes vacant next year? How would you feel about that? If it was something like Nick Webb or well, that'd be something like well, that, it's, like I said, it's, it's a title on the way. Like, so that's not my be all end all. Yeah. But, but that's a title to have and win. I'm yeah. proud of it and then go on and be, do bigger things. Uh, would you would you like to headline next year? Because Dennis is going to be headlining next year in well, Sheffield. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Like that, yeah. Oh, Magnum, no, that's what every fighter does. Yeah. Shoot up with it, headlining and mm. on your own patch. Yeah, look, and yeah. Everyone, everyone comes and watches excited. Yeah, that's good. Uh, 
So things are going things are going well for you at the moment and you're happy, and you're content, yeah, and everything yeah. camp's going well. This gym's looking it's smart, isn't it? It's looking it's nice. JJ it's it's Conference on uh, Cadillac, looking beautiful. Yeah, have some good dancers in here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sparring is going well, you're just an happy camper, aren't you? You've got a smile on your face. That's it, it's, uh, something, it's the people around you sometimes makes a big difference yeah, as well. You've got Wrong people around you can make you an happy camp. Yeah. You can get into like a rock, can't you? That's it. You look trimmed up and that, and you're trimmed. It's, go. it's not easy, but it's not supposed to be easy. No, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it, wouldn't they? Well, I've been through this and I've enjoyed it. And the long as Richard's happy with me, and he's got OCD, you know, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> can't you tell? I bet, I, bet, I bet his house is spotless at home. Look at this here. I'm going to watch Everything's the... in place, it's like adding bulbs, isn't it? I'm going to watch the point in about five times. It's not half adding bulbs, isn't it? Everything has to be done correctly, isn't it? Well, the... Look, if you get into that routine, you know what? I always revert back to Carl Fox because I picked his brains for 10 years yeah. and we bounced ideas off each other every other day. He used to, before a camp, sorry, before a fight, he'd lay in bed. And he always used to text me and he said, what do you reckon how it'll go? And I said, well, you've done everything, haven't you? Yeah. And he said, yeah, I've done the camp. I've not cut any corners, this is what you're worried about then. He always used to question himself. But then eventually, I think, as a fighter, you have to tell yourself, I've done it, it's all in bank, there's no to worry about. Yeah. And I think that's why you spoke to a sports psychologist. Would you ever look at you doing something like that? Just, just to, for that bit of confirmation about, there's a lot of this mental, isn't it? Yeah, to be honest, it'd be truly with Richard. Yeah. Apart from the physical side of it. The, He's been with me all mentally. Yeah, he's like one of the He's had the experience and, yeah, and, he's been there, and right? there's certain things what I've struggled with in the past. Yeah. Uh, Rich has helped me with them and, and I'm improving on them, so yeah. all the mental stuff, not just physical. Yeah. So, like, so no, I, don't need to, I don't need to see a sports psychologist. No, but <laughs> I don't, what, no, down on that wall. Could it harm your career or would it. Uh, if you ever need to speak to one, would you try it? Oh, it's just something that can be there for you, yeah. isn't it? It's something that I've never yeah. really thought about it, but. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, you take care. Thank you. Nice to speak to you. Thanks for having me. And uh, all the best for November 29. Yeah, I'm going to come and see you before then. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to see you again. I'm going to try and get you out there and let everybody see that you're not a bad guy. I know you get a lot of criticism for it. You made a mistake against yeah. David Price, but if you've got a 19 stone, 6 foot 8 giant, right? Punching you know, back at head and, uh, and doing things like that to you, so it'll push any man to edge. So I personally think everybody should get a second yeah. chance. And I want all them boxing fans who have been tweeting, you know, all that disgusting stuff and listen, he's a boxer, isn't he? You give him a chance, you know what I mean? He, he's turned his life around, so it's not for everybody this sport, but get behind him and let's get you all to the show on November 29th. It's at Ponds Ford. Tickets are cheap. It's a great night. Get in touch with me at the cash or Richard Towers on his Twitter, at Richard Towers, or at Dennis Hobson, or get in touch with me, I'll point you in the right direction. Yeah. Let's get this kid, this kid's boxing career going. Everybody deserves a second chance, all right? Peace out, Thank keep you. on trucking, keep supporting boxing, and uh, shout out to Climate Cool, South Yorkshire Packaging, and JJ Crump and stuff for cozy homes. No problem. Can do this shot here. I'm trying to get this sport Billy sportsmanship. Oh, ho, ho. Sushi away! Come on, Foggy, set him up. Set him up, Fog. Set him up. Let me get the rest of your jar off you, Foggy. Um. Get him set up. When you can pop like that, you're not frightened of taking on anybody. I'll take anybody on at Snooker. Anybody who wants to play me, come and fetch your money and I will relieve you of it. Everybody knows that I couldn't play Snooker for years because whenever it comes to brown ball, I'd always be thinking about going and scoring some brown. 
which is heroin, a nickname for heroin. So, but I'm over it now. So, I'm over it now and I'm able to just pop the brown and not think about going and getting uh, anything else, any drugs. Anyway, where was I? Go get that foil, Foggy. <laughs> I'm only joking, Nicola. My drug days are gone. What can I say? What can I say? The man's a fucking genius, aren't he?